All right, welcome back. I hope you're having a good day. Today I'm gonna to repot my laurel oak tree. I have had this guy for about three years, just about three years to the day actually, because uh, these are the pictures of when I repotted it. I repotted it almost right away. I bought it and then just had it for a couple days and repotted it. I did repot it right back into the original pot. I just basically cleaned up the root ball some and then just uh, used some better bonsai some substrate and repotted it back into the bowl pan. I did use the older substrate that I used to use that had a little bit of a uh, turfus in it. And I think if I'd have used the better soil, it probably could have waited maybe another year or two before I repotting. Soil is breaking down some, getting pretty solid. It does still drain fairly well, but it is a you know small enough pot for an oak tree there. And let it spread out some. I'm actually gonna put it, uh, it's, not, uh, it's not a plastic training pot, but it's nothing special. I'm just going to put it in a uh, little bit of a big rectangle. I've been really happy with this tree. It stayed nice and healthy in this pot. This, uh, generally speaking, what I do, it'll get a early flush of really big leaves and say like April, May, I do believe that these pictures right here are from April though with the big leaves on it. And then what I do is I come in and I partially defoliate mid May, June, something like that. It comes out with much smaller leaves and just kind of stays nice and come back the rest of the year so it'll get a second flush in there and it looks really good I think through the summer I did actually make a video of this in this you know January a year ago And then I also made a video this year, this spring, of that uh, defoliation process. And then uh, I did give an update of when, it, when the leaves came back. And so, what the back side looks like. Pick the other side for the front simply because the two lower branches, most of the sub-branching on them are coming straight at you this way. And I kind of want to leave them on there to get some depth to the tree down low and to keep the trunk nice and thick. A little bit of sparse branching on the way up. I do think it just looks a little more organized on the other side. All right, first thing I'm going to do is uh, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to take all of these little shoots off of here. This thing did get beat up in the hurricane pretty bad. It started budding out right away. I was really worried because that was, you know, fall in which, you know, it was starting to get cold. About the time it started getting leaves, we actually did have a cold snap. I didn't really want to do any knee jerk reactions and bring it inside or anything. Trees just aren't used to being inside. And it is an oak, which is, uh, you know, and what I understand the laurel oak is safe up to zone seven. But the problem, you know, the problem was it was all new growth. And now that it's been warming up, it got some quick buds. I think some of these were just buds that didn't bud out before. And these are all, almost all these leaves on it right now. This one's probably the best example or just really awkward. And see this one is actually growing back towards the tree. So they're just a bunch of little shoots from the warm snap. And I don't think taking them off is gonna hurt anything. I was a little worried about how it might react this spring. Thought about just not repotting it, but it is starting to get some bud swell. Bud swell is when the tips all start getting just a little bit bigger just before it sweat, you know, uh, starts to leaf out. And that is the time for repotting. All right, so all the leaves are off. I'm gonna take these guy wires off. And before I start repotting, it's a few of these branches. I think just kind of don't belong, crossing over each other just a little bit. And while the leaves are off, it's a good time to see them all. 
couple of longer shoots. I'd like to shorten up a little. But nothing drastic as it is getting ready to butt out. A couple of the longer shoots I can actually tell were slightly dead, so might as well pop them off. I'll go ahead and get set up, do my repotting process here. All right, so this is the pot I got picked out for it. A little bit more shallow, but it's got a few more inches of room. Grow some roots out a little more radially, I hope. Got a good thick tie down. I left it nice and long. I might just tie the tree itself in instead of the root ball. I do that sometimes. I know it goes against tradition, but it's the way it goes. This is actually one of my little markdown pots and they broke chip foot there and they actually even let you know which corner it was. That's why they put it in that corner. So I'll make sure I put the front this way. I'm going to get some substrate in there and then get it out of the tub here and uh, see what the root ball looks like. And let's see what three years looks like here. That's about what I remember it looking like when I got it originally. I'm not uh, all that familiar with the, how the roots are on these. progress here definitely still new to the hobby should do wish this little rude hook here is a little bit too small and cheesy that's the one I tried to start with be actually really good for some of my really small fig trees. And this one's just a little bit too brutal for what I want it for right now. But yeah, I haven't spent a whole lot of money on bonsai specific stuff. Just that's about what I reduced to two before. get it's a couple of big circling roots still definitely like to break that circle up especially since I'm not putting it back in that pot I'd like for some of these surface roots to start reaching for the corners of that bigger training pot All right and here we are 
I reduced it just a little bit further than I think I did that first time. Did try to break up some of the, some really tough stuff that was circling there. Took the, uh, took this set of pruners here and just kind of cut around it a little bit. It's getting so close to the trunk. Really want to disturb it too much more. Should get a chance to let it grow out. Anyhow, I think I got it at a decent depth here. And I do think instead of trying in the tree, I'm going to go ahead and tie in the root ball. All right, that should hold it nice and solid. put this in my recovery place in my shade house if you will but I probably will put it in the sunniest part of the shade house and now that I'm taking a second look at it I do think this thing might protrude out there a little bit further than I really needed to and I think that's a little bit better I think over time as I let these kind of recover some I may cut them back to a certain thickness but for now I think I'll leave them out like they are try to continue thickening up that trunk <laughs> 